Afro Hepcat wail and tenor sax below Brass Garibaldi. Persistence of memory bites poet's ass. Wasn't a lifetime ago or merely decayed. Dancer splayed open legs submissive across picnic table. Younger poet rips open chase snorkel Parker zipper. Murderous lust bears erect angry red nipples to winter's blast. Take that to a hotel room! Homeless, toothless, crackhead bellow. We took it to Waverly Place, subway exit. Pin lanky arms to tile walls. Eat of lips, necks, breasts. Coitus interrupt us. Our train pulls in and mesh turnstile teeth. Tear dance from poet's deadly embrace. Car and gulf steel cobra devours her. Spewing porcelain bone about bents in her sewers. My tits are woefully inadequate, but I more than make up for them with my womanly ass, see? Dancer pulls down two tight faded vintage Gloria Vanderbilt blue jeans and black lycra spandex bikini panties. Display twin fleshy cheek orbs, rump of Clydesdale draft horse, and tenderly rubs them in my face. Her pubic hair is likewise 70s vintage thick. Jet black, unshaven, bush, spilling across left and right thigh, unspoilt by razor's sharp edge or laser's fiery light. Every woman's pussy tastes unique to the connoisseur cunnilingus, distinct as two drifting snowflakes, some as piquant as red pimento in the heart of Spanish olive, or tangy as velvety Napa Valley Merlot, or earthy musk of stale carriage horse piss. Mellowing in the warm May sun on Central Park South. Dancer pussy, taste of beef bourguignon. A hearty French stew and red wine sauce with wild truffles. I savor every mouthful. <laughs> You're not gonna fuck me without a condom. I don't use them. It ain't no fun if it ain't dangerous. Dancer produces blue wrapped Trojan from her purse, takes me in her mouth, gets me hard, slips clear latex over my cockhead. You're rather large. Get on top. I get her off with four fingers shoved up her vulva. Just let go, baby. Just let go. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Dance her chants as her mantra until she comes in my hand. You're hiding something from me. I know. I can tell. I'm in the 12-step fellowship. S-L-A-A. -A, sex, love, and addicts anonymous. If I learned only one thing from the fellowship, it's that sex addicts always find each other. I'm a sex addict. That can mean only one thing. You're a sex addict too, Big Mike. Yes, right. About a hundred guys have seen me naked. At least half of them have fucked me. Are you a sex addict, Big Mike? Aren't you, huh? How many women have you fucked? I don't know, give her a nice round number. Ah, uh, 26. I knew it. I knew it. I just knew it. What else are you hiding from me? Well, uh, my ex is here tonight. She's in the audience. She's insanely jealous. She'll throw a fit if she sees you. She'll make a scene. It could get ugly. She's extremely violent. She's fucking crazy. You better leave now. I am so out of here. Goodbye forever. Hello, Michael. Did you miss me? Of course, who wouldn't? Michael, do you want to come back to my place now and help me rearrange my living room furniture? <laughs> help me rearrange my living room furniture is crazy bitch code word for WANNA COME HOME AND EAT MY PUSSY? And I did. <laughs>